Hello everyone, I am the one and only, and there's nobody I'd rather be, and welcome back to part 6 of my let's play of Pokemon Omega Ruby for the Nintendo 3DS. Last time where we left off, we battled through Petal Petalburg Woods, catching some more Pokemon, and battling Team Magma, who was after a um, Devon Corporation uh, researcher, who gave us, for beating Team Magma, the EXP share. So it's time to do some more training as we go on to uh, the, the top half of Route 104, south of Rossboro City. First up, we took this youngster. What's up? I like to shout my lungs out. It feels so good. You can have this, so you can try it out. Use it on a Pokemon, and it will learn a move that attacks with a voice. If the move is used several times in a row, it becomes more powerful. I have no idea what accent I was doing then. <coughs> Taint echoed voice. Before he put the TM in, in his bag. A world of advice. A TM and Dodging Machine can be used many times. It won't go away, so try it out as many times as you want. Cheers, kid. And it's a flower shop. Neat. Hello. This is a pretty petal flower shop. Spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is Ronnie. That's a nice name. Ronnie, would you like to learn about berries? Sure, why not? Berries grow on trees that thrive only in soft soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the soft soil. Plant the berry will soon sprout. Grow into a plant. Flower beautifully. Uh, flower beautifully, and then grow berries again. I want to see? Uh, yeah, that's my dream. Please help me, Ronnie. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Sure. Um, anyone got a? Hello. Flowers will bring beautifully and bear many berries if you take good care of them. I'm sure you can have this. The Whelmer Pail. <clears throat> Ronnie put a Whelmer Pail in a key items pocket. While berry plants are growing, uh, while berry plants are growing, water them with the Whelmer Pail. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they drop off onto the ground, but they'll sprout again. Is that isn't that awesome? It's like they have a will. They have the will to live. I have the will to live. My throat is going though because there's all this talking. <clears throat> I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers too. Here you go. It's for you. Ah, oh, thanks for the raspberry. You can plant a berry to grow more berries or you can have a Pokemon hold it. <clears throat> but now there's a machine that mixes ber berries up in different candies for Pokemon. I want some candy too. You can't have it. It's for Pokemon. I'll try to do that. I'm not really into the berry farming business. Uh, I'll grab these orange berries though. Well, how come it says two if there's, only, if there's three in the graphic? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, these are cherry berries. I'll take some of them. I'll take the pick berries as well. And there should be a patch of grass back here. And I found a Pokeball. A super potion. There's loads of items back here. There's one more item. But I'm going to run into a Pokemon before them. And the next attack. So let's head on down the route. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? You may ask me indeed. You are challenged by Lady Cindy, who sent out a zigzagoon. Go, Taylor! Uh, let's try a quick attack. Nicely done. Because the goon's gonna do a tail whip. And we're gonna retort with another quick attack. Because that's all Taylor has at the moment. So the goon's gonna do a tail whip. And we're gonna do another quick, quick attack. Nicely done. Good job, Taylor. Taylor Goon gained 120 XP points. Experience points. Taylor grew to level 20. Uh, level 10, even, not level 20. <laughs> The rest of your team gain experience points. The Rocket Rocket grew to level 8. Mib grew to level 8. Mib blood wing attack. Great. And we defeated Lady Cindy. Oh my. We only reached 1,200 uh, 1, pounds. Uh, and we're going to switch quickly to... Uh, we're going to switch Taylor to Rolts. Uh, we're 
There we go. And there's another trainer. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. To battle or not to battle? That is the question. Loss, Haley. Haley, Harley, Haley, Haley. So that Lotad. Lotad. Love me some Lotad. It's a water grass type, if I believe. Swift swim. Ooh, interesting. So let's try some confusion. Not bad, not too bad. Come on, Rolts, let's go again. One more time. Nicely done. Goodbye, Lotad. Good job, Rolts. So that goes to level 8. And the rest of the team gain some little experience, but not enough to level up. And it's a Shroomish, so that's going to be a Grass Poison type, so we'll keep out Rolts. And it's level 8 as well, so that's going to be an interesting challenge for Rolts. So, let's do some confusion. Oh, I thought it was going to be super effective. Maybe it's just a Grass type. I thought it was Grass Poison. Interesting. Still, it's going to use... Oh, Leech Seed, that's interesting. That's going to be... I keep saying interesting. Um... That's not good, it's just going to be draining 1 HP of damage per turn. Oh, a lot of HP per turn. Um, let's just keep knocking away its HP bar, and we they see the red now. Oh, Stun Spore, that's not nice. Let's switch to MIP, I think is the best, um, that's the best policy. Maybe even not MIP. <laughs> Uh, good job, Rolt. You did a really good job. Let's go, Mib. See, it does a little bit of damage um, because it's a water and flying type. So let's have a wing attack, please, Mib. There we go. Super effective. Nice job, Mib. Mutter grew to level 8. I should have battled, yeah. I shouldn't have battled. That is true. Uh, do I have any paralysis things for... Mm, let's have a look. Oh, I have some cherry berries. Hold on. Yep, there we go. There you go, Rolts. So let's go onto the bridge. And, for, and uh, into our first double battle. We're twins, so we battled Pokemon together. Oh, right, we're going to battle our Pokemon. Great bit of dialogue there, guys. You're trying to spy twins, Gina and Mia. Gina and Mia. Gina and Mia. Lotad and C Dot. So we're gonna send out Rots and Mutter. Chlorophyll. Okay, good job, um, Rots. Let's do a confusion on C Dot, and let's do a Thunder Fang on Lotad and see what happens. Okay, Confusion does a great deal of damage on C Dot. Uh, no, um, again, some great damage on um, uh, Lotad as well. Oh, ooh, that's not good. Bubbles a double hitting move, that's interesting. Okay, so let's do Confusion on C Dot and let's do Thunder Fang on Lotad again. Ooh, almost critical hit. Nicely done. Ooh, Rox is not having some fun, though. That was, that was astonished. Growth keeps going. His, his nuts are getting bigger. <laughs> so let's finish this off quickly, guys. Thunder Fang. And Confusion. Nice job. Taylor grew to level 11, and Trigger grew to level 12. Oh no! Don't worry, Mutter's got this. Nicely done, critical hit. And Rot's grew to level 9. 
and learn teleport. Neat. That will tell us um, outside of battle that you that can get us back to Pokemon centers if we desperately need it. We grew to level nine. I'm so disappointed that we lost. We lost even though we fought together. So we're not going to actually teleport back to a Pokemon Center. I'm just going to use another an uh, potion on Rolts. And the rest of the team looks fine. I can survive a few more battles. Uh, so let's... Oh, let's fight a fisherman. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert. Huh? You don't know me? The only po water Pokemon expert I know is Misty. Fisherman Ivan. Sent out Magikarp. There's always one. Let's go, Rolts. We're going to completely walk through this team. Why does a Magikarp have Swift Swim? You can splash all you want, mate. Must go to level 9, that's great. And so the Rocket Raccoon. Another Magic Carp. Ooh, one hit KO. Very nice rolls. Rolzing Matilda, Rolzing Matilda. Will you go Rolzing Matilda with me? <laughs> almost, almost. And another one bites the dust. Goodbye, Team Magikarp. I thought I wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Blair. Oh, there's an old woman here. If you see some berries growing in soft soil, feel free to take them, but make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Okay, give me a chesto berry. Uh, trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to wherever you... Uh, okay, fine. Uh, are these orange berries? Yeah. Ooh, four orange berries. I've got plenty, so I'll plant. I actually will plant some back. Let's plant a berry. Uh, let's give some back. Let's water it. The Welma Pale. No, <laughs> cute. Actually, let's let's do it from the other angle so I can see what's going on. That's enough water for you. So we do go, go like this. There we go. I have to do it from the front. Oh, okay, that's just silly. I wanted to see the Wilma Pale. Let's plant another one. That'll do. But here we officially are in Rossboro City. Who's that coming out of the Pokemon Mart? It's me! So you made it hit to Rossboro too, Ronnie. It's really big here, isn't it? Little Root can't even compare. Ah, I've seen bigger. Oh, and Ronnie, have you heard? There's a Pokemon gym here too. Once I catch a couple more Pokemon, I'll be sure to take it on with my team. See you later. Bye, May. So let's go visit Rossboro City. Let's see what's in Pokemon, um, Pokemon Mart. Oh, there's a guy standing here. Hello, Mr. Guy. Excuse me, trainer, over here there. Do you have a minute? You know sometimes moves are too strong to catch a Pokemon. You end up making a Pokemon faint even when you don't want to. For such a common problem, use this. It's False Swipe. It False Swipe is a very handy move. No matter how many times it's used on a posing Pokemon, it won't cause the Pokemon to faint. I'm offering it to you free right now. This is a limited time promotion. Cheers, dude. Let's buy some Pokeballs. 
Let's continue exploring Ross Bar City. Oh, you, you and your Pokemon. When I'm on the someday, I'll go pace with Pokemon too. Hey, little kids, I've had Pokemon game experience through battle. Yeah, I've heard it all before. What's this guy? For my own Pokemon, I give them plenty of slick things. Oh, is that my expression? Oh, originally that's it, that's it. By giving the name Pikachu to a Spumia, it doesn't seem right. Although I don't understand the importance of giving a familiar nickname for, to your Pokemon. Yep, I like to nickname my, my Pokemon if I come up with a good idea or name for a Pokemon. Um, and hopefully you guys are giving me some great suggestions uh, over Twitter. I can't wait to hear from them, uh, hear your ideas. So if they're talking about nicknames, there should be a name rater here somewhere. Um, that's the Pokemon Center. Next door? Cutter's house. There's little trees going outside. That's brilliant. And this is the guy. That determined expression, that limbo way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you'll be capable of putting this HM to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. And we got HMO one cut. Put cut in the TMs. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down prickly trees if the trainer has earned a stone badge. HMs like this can be used outside of battle too, with the right badges. Cheers, dude. I'm gonna teach that to my Zigzagoon. Rocket can be can cut things up. There you go, Rocket. And let's get rid of... Sun attack. Don't really need that. Run on, Rocket. Run on, Rocket. Learn to cut. Let's use it on this tree right now. You can't pass... Oh, because I have the... I haven't got the badge yet. I need the badge. So let's see what's happening going on, happening in the training school. Hey, I'm not a weird man, but I'm head of this school. To prove that, I'll share some knowledge with you. I'll explain about various badges you can get in the Hoenn region. Uh, no thanks. I feel a bit bored and lonely. If you want to know about them, please come back. Ah. Students, so you don't study it. Get. A Quick, little taste of my quick for you see. Whether or not you, you're a good student, you'll be evident from the way you use this item. Ah, cheers! We get the quick claw. A Pokemon holding the quick claw will occasionally speed up and get the move before its opponent, you see. There are many other items that are meant to be held by Pokemon. Thanks. Basically everything I know already. <laughs> Grows faster, yep. Hey, is that a Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just tried to fit into the Pokemon Trainer School? No, I have not. So what's this building? Oh, look, the, there's a Helix Fossil. <laughs> they obviously watch Twitch plays Pokemon. <laughs> Twit? Twitch plays Pokemon. There's a skinny. Meow. Meow. Aw, cute. This building houses many employees of the Devon Corporation and their families. There's a trainer. My dad's a real ace in the Devon Corporation. I hope I have you know. He, it's no wonder he, I'm an ace myself. Here, I'll give you something that an ace trainer like me uses. A gloat stone? If you have a Pokemon that have held in front of it, its weight will be halved. Although it looks like it will be a while before you can use something like this as well as I can. Ah, oh, jeez. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a tiny, tiny company. But he works at Devon. This is hit. This is something he made. I can't use it, so you can have it. A Premier Ball. Nice. I just bought one of these. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Appreciate it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, hopefully we'll meet them soon. There's a... Oh, the guy changed. Huh? For some reason, I've put on a lot of weight recently. Uh... Okay... Right, bye guys. That was weird. Anyway, let's continue on. Have you taken on the Pokemon gym yet? Once you get a shiny gym badge in your hand, that's when you really start to feel like a trainer.
do you think I'm getting Pokemon? I gave a cool name to mine, but when I call my Pokemon by that name, people laugh at me. If it's okay with you, want to trade your Slack off for my Makuhita? I don't have a Slack off. Sorry, kid. Ah, oh, it's a good Pokemon. In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon people. I find that fascinating. It inspires me to go to all sorts of places. The Devon Corporation. For your living needs, we'll make it all. We make it all. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Look at that. The Devon Corporation. Let's go check it out. Whoa, this place changed. Look at all the stones and fossils of Helix. That's brilliant. Hi. Hey, that PokéNav Plus, that's one of our products. It makes me happy when I see people using something we made. Hello, and welcome to Devon Corporation. We are proud producers of items and medicine that enhance your life. Look at the Omni uh, and Kabuto, that's so cool. Look at all the fossils, that's brilliant. Huh? I'm sorry, but only your voice people are allowed to enter. Aww. Maybe we'll come back later. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Uh, let's have a look. So, not much to do or say. What's this guy got to say? The Devon Corporation, that's kind of a mouthful, so we just say Devon. The company makes all sorts of convenient products. And we'll end the video here. Um, so, we've explored Rustboro City. Um... We've that we've tra travelled through um, the rest of the route 104, um, and now we're at Rustboro City. And uh, next time, in part seven of my let's play of Pokemon Omega Ruby and uh, for Nintendo 3DS, we'll be taking on uh, the Pokemon Gym in Rustboro City. Uh, but for now, I have been one and only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. And you've been watching part six of my let's play of Pokemon Omega Ruby for Nintendo 3DS. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. See you next time. Hello everyone, I am the one and only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. And welcome to part five of my let's play of Pokemon Omega Ruby for Nintendo 3DS. Hello everyone, I am the one and only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. And welcome to part 16 of my let's play of Hyrule Warriors for Nintendo Wii U. <laughs>